with another video so welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are a returning viewer hey um i've decided i'm more of a talker <laughs> i know from my last few videos i was just trying to see like if y'all like the talking more or if you just like the you know the music and it's pretty much the same and i'm very much a talker so i'll just say what i'm doing and go from there so here i am doing a recreation set this was done by not polish tau i think that's how you say her name and i was asked to recreate this set for freaknik it is basically just a pink on pink set cow print they have some dice and some cherries that are cow print as well so i'm gonna show you all how to do that this was my first time doing a design like this so it was really interesting <laughs> and i'm not much of a frenchy girl but i am i really knocked these out i'll be honest <laughs> But I'm just doing the smile lines, comparing them to the other nails, making sure they're all the same length. And then I will be curing them and doing a second coat of that pink and then curing that again before I go into, ooh, excuse me, before I go into doing the design. So when I am done with that, I'll be back with some more. Okay, so now I am going in with my one of my dotting tools and I'm just making random squiggles like little splotches there's no not really any method to my madness just adding little dots and squiggles where I think it would look like it would be on actual cow <laughs> I did not use any of the base coats to do any of my nail art I feel that with the sets that I've done, I think that the base coat isn't really needed. Some people say it helps. Some people say it doesn't really do anything. For me, I if I'm doing more of like a, like say, let's see this design. I don't think it's necessary. But that's just my personal opinion. If you want to use it, that's fine. Just letting y'all know. I am also going to list all of the products I'm using down in the description box. And now I am going in with my reflective gel and outlining that smile line. Yes, I already did cure those nails. <laughs> okay, I did cure those nails before starting on that reflective gel. Um, yeah, I'll be listing all of the products, the brands, all of that. Also, tell me what you guys would like to see in future videos. I know it's been a month. I've been off. I've been busy, you guys. I'm a mom. <laughs> and I'm doing my own business. So it's just really a lot. But I'm trying to get back to it and get back on track. So, yeah. Here, I'm just starting on my cherries. I didn't... This is literally my first time drawing cherries. Well, my second, because I did the other hand. But, like, I really... I suggest for people who want to start doing, like, hand art just start practicing because i stayed in my own head too much and it just like made me not even want to do it because i'm like well mine art isn't going to look like the next nail text but it doesn't have to you know it's all a part of your growing process so take it from me just just do it you know nike that's not their little slogan for no reason like just do it stay out of your head and just be free you know I hope this is making sense. It's real 420 friendly over here, so <laughs> yeah. Also, I want to point out with all of the nail art I am doing, I am curing it twice for 60 seconds to make sure that everything is cured, okay? You don't want to make any messes, and I would say to prevent like smearing, like how I'm doing the cow print, I would wipe off, like with an alcohol wipe, wipe off what you just cured to get rid of that like tacky layer and it'll make it much easier and it'll keep it all in place before you put that in the light. 
so I've cured those as well now I'm just taking my nine millimeter brush from nails by dev if you know you know <laughs> um, but I'm taking that nine millimeter brush and I outlined those cherries I'm using that same brush to make these squares for the dice on the other hand the dice were a little bit bigger I'm making this size smaller because I'm gonna be adding a puff on this hand as well so everything's plenty self-explanatory I'll come back when we're closer to the end and we can talk then so now i'm going in and taking my reflective gel and i'm just creating some drips like it's dripping glitter oh my gosh look at that it's so pretty um also for the cubes all i can really say is like just draw what you see because i've never been good at like making cubes i redid those so many times but it's okay just keep going <laughs> it's all that matters and of course i am using my zule bling glue if you know you know if you don't wake up <laughs> but i am just really the i usually do freestyles but with this set it was really a recreation set like all the way except the puff so it's like if you follow her you've seen this set before i don't know if y'all can like tag her or if i can tag her but she came up with all of this <laughs> but this set is so cute let me know down below in the comments what else you would want to see like if our if y'all want to see acrylic toes or you know a feel i did myself a short set i recorded it it'll probably be my next video but i didn't do any design i know it's just a little nude set but yeah like let me know let me know how y'all feel, what y'all want to see. Because y'all are the most important. Without you, there would be no channel. Like, honestly. And I love you all. As far as my page, I will be trying to get better and work on posting more. I'm trying to get life to settle down. <laughs> but I will work on that. And just, yeah, let me know. I don't think y'all can message me on here. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Jewel by Jada. It's two A's at the end, J-A-D-A. -A. And I love you all. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.